what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel we are still do doing the vlogmas 2020 and i have to create time to make videos so if you're new here please consider subscribing to my channel like this video give it a give it a, a thumbs up if you like the content and thank you so much so today we'll be talking about emergency funds emergency funds if you just need to have something in your savings in order to make sure that you have something that to cover you up in case of an emergency so an emergency fund becomes a convenient fund when you actually have some something stored for yourself just in case you run um, on something imagine this you you don't have any savings your wife is pregnant pregnant or your baby is sick and you've been told at the hospital that it they need to have a deposit of like five thousand Kenya shillings or like five thousand dollars and you've never saved any money imagine that now the c-section or the baby for them to be treated or just taken um, into um, a good like to be resuscitated or just something really serious you don't have any dime imagine that and you don't have any coin to save you so I'm here to talk about emergency funds you should always have something that for a buffer or just get to kidogo any you save just in case you have a problem that is urgent so that you don't get into debt here in this channel we talk about financial freedom financial literacy have you that have you ever wondered why in school they never taught us about financial literacy seriously they only taught us to go to school get good, get good grades go to college get go get a job and end up where And end up getting a job and being employed for the rest of your life that sucks big time okay so in this channel we want to be financially independent we want to retire early we want to save and save and save we want to save more money just to be financially independent you have to get side gig jobs you have to invest in some mutual funds or stocks or every everything I have videos I'll be uploading videos on where which are the small things you can do to save yourself even if it's saving 10 bob a day 10 shillings 10 dollars a day to make sure you have an emergency fund it's very very doable you're working if you're watching this video it means you have some internet bundles it means you have some coins somewhere that's why you're on youtube right now watching watching things like this to grow yourself i know you want us to save more and become more um financially independent so you have to take one step save one bob two shillings ten dollars anything that you want to save in order to get your emergency fund so it's recommended to have like a thousand dollars emergency fund then you can go save for like six to twelve months expenses worth of expenses of savings for example if you save if you spend 10k per month it means that's like 10k times 12 months that's like 120k saving for a rainy day it should not be a rainy day it should actually be um it should it should actually be a, co a convenience day you know like when you save just something small it's cost i know it's, it's it can be a lot but imagine if every day you're using bundles now we're heading to 5g and i know you'll be on youtube but you don't have any emergency fund so it's good you start saving start saving now let's meet in the next video we'll be talking more about how we can use our money thank you so much make sure you subscribe bye